Hey guys, it's Chloe and I'm here with the star of Bravo's hit show, Pregnant in Heels, Rosie Pope. Thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you. All right, so let's just get down to it. Season two of your show premieres next Tuesday, May 15th at 10 p.m. on That's Bravo. Right. Congratulations. Thank you. Did you ever think that the show would be this successful? I guess I'm supposed to say yes. I think, <laughs> you know, I think going through pregnancy and also being full of drama and extremities and all these type of things are what everybody's interested in. You know, right. because everybody knows somebody that's been pregnant or they've been pregnant and these are just crazy women going through wild crazy things and who doesn't love to watch that. Now is season two going to be similar to season one? I mean what types of people are you going to be encountering? Season two is way crazier than season one which people keep asking me how is that you possible. Can even imagine I that, know. Right. But we have so many controversial issues from placenta eating, and I'm talking raw placenta eating, to pregnancy porn, to breast milk banks. I mean, we really cover every possible crazy topic. Now, quick question. So you don't look to have gotten very big with this pregnancy right. at all. Now, Jessica Simpson, she just gave birth, and she looked like she was pregnant with, like, sex tablets. Um, what are your views on gaining a lot of weight while pregnant? Some people say that you shouldn't. And well, the thing is, you have to gain some weight. So if you start off a healthy average weight, you want to gain about 25 to 35 pounds. Okay. So that is a significant amount of weight that you do need to gain. But the whole eating for two idea, is that true? That's not true. Okay. Sadly, you probably <laughs> only need, I know. If you're having 1,800 calories a day and you're healthy, okay. you probably don't need to consume that many more calories. Right. Now let's talk about a very controversial subject today. Everyone is talking about Time Magazine's cover yes. um, with the woman who has a three-year-old breastfeeding and he's standing on a chair. We're showing you the cover right now. First of all, were you shocked with that cover? Shocked? No. I mean, I think they took um, a very beautiful, slender woman and a large three-and-a-half-year-old, so it looks quite shocking, but what was going on did not shock me. Now tell me a little bit about what that cover is saying and what they're talking about. So for all of the readers and viewers at home right now, can you kind of explain what this topic yeah. is about, I mean, this I think argument? Breastfeeding in the United States has been um, a controversial issue for some time, and particularly breastfeeding uh, older children. It's uh, without doubt that breastfeeding is really great for babies. It really helps them. It helps their immune system. It, it's wonderful in so many ways. The question is how long it's good to breastfeed. Right now, I always thought, okay, you know, mothers do it for like the first six months and then you switch right. to a bottle. I didn't even know that some mothers were breastfeeding their children until they were in kindergarten or maybe even the first maybe grade. Maybe even more. Okay. Yeah. So after a certain point, you know, the World Health Organization recommends two years, the American Academy of Pediatrics recommends one year. After that point, you're supposed to get most of your nutrition from food. Right. So then it doesn't become about nutrition or your immune system, it becomes about bonding. So then you have to ask yourself the question in the American culture and society, is that helping the child or is it not? What are your opinions on it? My opinions are that in America, if your child is walking around, going to school, and can say the word boobies, it's probably time to stop. Okay, now also though, some of these parents also believe in, you know, um, I was reading about this last night, that they hold their babies in slings. They sleep with mm -hmm. their babies. It's all about making your child seem to be like very codependent. Yes. Can you kind of explain that a little bit? Well, the idea of attachment parenting, uh, to be able to bond with your child and give them self-confidence and be attached is a really, really great thing. But there does come a certain point where you do need to let your child be able to sleep in their own bed at night and be able to feed themselves and have independence and security in that way. And I was told that some of the women profiled in this article that they also were raised with the same idea and philosophy mm -hmm. from their parents. So this isn't a new thing at all. No, no, not at all. And I think it's a very cultural thing. And I think it's not usual in the United States. Right. Now, <laughs> for all of the mothers and you know young girls out there right now, Tell them right now why they should tune in to season two next week. It is a wild and crazy ride with everything from pregnancy porn, placenta eating, all the way through to breast milk banking. It's crazy. You have to watch it. And listen, for more on what Rosie Pope does, follow her on Twitter, like her on Facebook, and the name of your website? RosiePope.com. And guys, tune in next Tuesday, May 15th at 10 p.m. on Bravo for the new season of Pregnant in Heels. All right, guys, so for all the latest news, gossip, style, beauty, and more, keep coming back to HollywoodLife.com.